and this bring me to the next lesson you don't want to be taking a loan on this stuff no it's not recommendable not. like you don't want to take fifteen thousand extra for renovation no of course and nowadays there are instagram there are pinterest there are so many sources that can give you idea ideas on how to really uh, think about this space you're living ciao ragazzi another video with lampy it's the very first video we are filming in our own apartment yeah i'm super excited especially the sit down i've missed them like when you just sit down and talk about something without drafting or anything you just i feel more natural and that's how our channel was started and like kind of just it bring back the yeah those couple talks you know yeah it's not only a couple talk but it's i don't know today when i was coming from work i was really like excited coming to and do this video, yeah. sit down video. Sit down. Because we, you, at the beginning of the channel, we used to do a lot of that, and then we kind of slowed down with the travel and so on. But yeah, that is. Today we are talking about new homeowners. What ah, yeah. have we learned? If you think of the biggest lessons. You know, we are very stingy. We, we are very cautious when we are spending money. I will not say stingy. Let, ah, let's replace it. We didn't we just make a whole move by ourselves. We are definitely stingy. We could have paid somebody to help us move. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. no so you're telling me that I'm stingy because you have to go <laughs> No, it's also me. I feel like, you know, when a decision mm -hmm. like this is executed, I didn't push enough to make it happen. Okay. It's this. But I'm thinking, when we are looking at this house, one of the things that we really liked was that, oh, the storage, like the kitchen is already there, there's a fridge, there's a stove, oven, all this stuff that we do, we do not have to buy. Mm -hmm. Part of that is really nice, especially when you're moving in, because, I mean, we could make a meal the first day we moved in, in the evening. The yeah, stove that was is there, nice. electricity was there, everything, you could just start right away. Now, the other side of it is that uh, you have always to have in mind that you're not going to like every furniture that is already placed in the house. Yeah, but I think in our case we were pretty lucky because the only piece of furniture that are in the house basically uh, are the bathroom that is uh, completely renovated and we like it so much. That was one of the biggest reasons why we bought this apartment so we, we wouldn't change anything in that space. And the kitchen, I mean the kitchen, I think it's also nice. How many times we are talking about changing this kitchen? No, we are not <laughs> talking about changing the kitchen. We are talking about dividing this because we are only in one room, uh, one big room. We have the kitchen and we have the, this living space. Like we have an open so kitchen. So we need, I, in my opinion, what I'm trying to push Lampy to do is like to close a bit this, uh, this space, the kitchen, and put a filter between the living room and the kitchen so that we can also have like a table that is a little bit higher with uh, two stools beneath it and I think it would be a nice, uh, like uh, we would arrange the space of this room better. So what is the lesson? The lesson is uh, be mindful when you are moving in an apartment that has already furniture because you might not like it anyway and you have to spend money uh, on these things. So. I always put it the other way around. When you are making negotiations with whoever is selling you the house and they are putting all the value on things that exist in the house, mm -hmm. you also put your feet down and say, yes, you know, there are a whole lot of things, but it's not like I need the stove that is in there. I want my other stove. Mm -hmm. Like, just be mindful of that because you are definitely going to still spend some money making sure that the house has the touches that feel personal to you. Mm -hmm. That is really important. Pay people for doing the job. You cannot do it all on your own. And that's what I have been trying, what we have been trying to do and... Oh no, 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 baby. Don't put it on me. I'm always there for paying people. But you are like, no, we are not paying. We're going to pay more. I can do it by myself. It's because I didn't, I thought that uh, with, I we actually didn't move with uh, any furniture apart from this couch, so I thought it was going to be easy. Okay. I really don't know how important is it to ask for neighbors. We ne never asked anything about neighbors when you moved in here, and so far I haven't felt a problem. Because I think 
if you are lucky when you're asking now i'm talking from my also from my job perspective right if you if the person you are buying the house from was the problematic neighbor is just going to tell you all the negative things about people who probably are not even problematic mm -hmm. and then you your chance of the house is gone i don't i just feel if somebody is telling you the house uh will never say something yeah, bad so about the you they want to sell <laughs> the house the I yes. mean, or they will try to mitigate a bit uh, what is uh, the what are the problem. From my side, the biggest lesson here is always take your time when you're looking for a house. Mm -hmm. Take your time because I think if I think of the first house we sold, the first very first house we sold that we wanted to buy, it was way over our budget. And it was going to be a disaster because it was old and there was so much reparation to do. Yeah, it was old, like the condition was way, way worse. There was no functional bathroom. The house in Kaput. Yes, the house in Kaput, I'm thinking. There was like, oh, yeah, there were a functional bathroom, but they were so old with old tile, old, uh, almost everything to replace. The kitchen also was really old. Uh, there was no kitchen, basically. Uh, that's not why I'm saying you should take your time. For me, I felt... It was big, obviously it was way bigger than what we got in the end. And I also loved it, but I just think it's your the first thing. It's like, it's literally the first thing you're looking at. Don't just take it. Yeah. No, like, but... Just um, give yourself time to learn a bit. And I remember she was already like, okay, I'm ready to put the money down. Let's just buy it. And I was saying, I hey, that is the first house we are actually looking at. And you can be like that because we are going to see many other houses. No, for me, I'm sure that is perfect. Have you seen there's so much space, four rooms? It's four amazing. Rooms, two floors, two floors, two major balconies with sunset and sunrise. Was Ama an amazing view. Yeah, was beautiful. But yeah, just take your time to really also think of what you really want to have in a house. And the more houses you look at. At the end, you are more clear of what is, you know, like what you value more when you're looking for a house. Yeah, and also on the other side, what can you afford? Because like sometimes we really want to improve our our condition of living, and when when we are thinking about buying a house, it's like always, I want my dream house. I want my dream house. No, we can't and afford our dream house. No, <laughs> but. Not yet. That is our first step. We can, you cannot go there if you don't have a solid economic background that, that it can support you and you are sure you can pay all the mortgage of your house. And so before you start looking on, on, on what kind of house you want to have, first you have really go to go to the bank and I say, okay, this is my economical condition. What can I afford? And sometimes bank they are even too like yeah you can afford this and this there is not going to be a problem but can you really afford? So what is the lesson there for you? For me the lesson is the mortgage of the house shouldn't exceed I would say one third of your total income as a family. Like household. Income. Yes, that is a big lesson that I think we learned and uh, also because we have researched so much on YouTube other YouTubers. And uh, we saw that really is important to budget when you are looking for a house because sometimes people tend to buy things that they cannot afford and then it's going to be big trouble really. For the family a lot of stress and isn't, it shouldn't be the case. Just adding to that, it should also be, don't rely on the bank to decide for you what you can afford. You obviously know how much you're earning. The bank can only tell you how much credit you can take and it's up to you to decide if you want to be paying that much credit so that is i think it's important decide for yourself just by looking yeah. of course you have to be within but you don't have to go at the maximum of what the bank offers you you can also uh, be a little absolutely. bit less absolutely when it comes to buying a new house especially once you have signed everything and mm -hmm. so on you're excited about moving in and we chose a house that was already partially furnished. The kitchen was inside, and the bathrooms were there, which is a little bit unusual for Germany. Usually, you would not even find anything, no sink, no nothing, no taps. But that was not our case. Still, that excitement of is our home, you want to buy a lot of things. And I will tell you, and we'll show you very soon in the house tour. 
do not buy stuff before you move in the house. That is bad. We yeah. literally bought stuff before we moved in just by looking at the plan that we used. Yes. When we were purchasing the house. That is wrong in all cases. It's just okay. don't do it. Like, like, I mean, okay, our situation was a little bit special because we already start from a point that we knew from the beginning we were not going to move with any furniture still do not buy before you move it absolutely also because i think you need time to really think of what you need other than just buying things for the sake of i'm excited to spend some money on the house give it a little bit of time of moving in the new space and think about it you know you can scroll in our days there are Instagram, there are Pinterest, there are so many sources that can give you idea, ideas on how to really uh, think about this Pinterest? space you're living. Do you use Pinterest? I'm, I'm too you, you Yeah, but why are you talking about Pinterest? You never check Sometimes ideas. I do. Sometimes I do. Absolutely. I'm cur like on my Pinterest, or do you have your own? On my. No, no, on mine. Eh, yes. Okay. Things are changing around here and I was in a way. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, Pinterest is a good thing. Otherwise, YouTube is also a whole lot of help. Mm -hmm. Although I feel like sometimes too much of that is also just might force you to buy more stuff. Take, just take your time. We were trying to do that. We are going to Ikea. We are going to pick our dining table, uh, working table, uh, everything. I mean, you can do that, but... We learned the first week we went to Ikea, we picked up a couple of stuff, and among those things was working discs that honestly, I think four days later we didn't like them, and Absolutely. we have kind of thrown away everything already, and we're already in the process of replacing them. I think just take your time. Although, I also I can understand, mm -hmm. and in our situation, we both work at home, mm -hmm. like your office is obviously here 24 7, mine is also here on. When I'm not outside visiting clients, is at home and it's 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 super important that you want to have a table. And I would say in this case, depending on your situation, mm -hmm. if you had some older table, maybe move with those stuff that you really need, and then replace them eventually with time. Yes. The next thing that I think is important is what we have learned is even if the house have some furniture still you need to be prepared with some capital because you a new house is still going to do some renovation and some side stuff you need to have some cash prepared when you move in you're definitely going to start changing things and making some reparation or whatsoever so just have cash aside absolutely that's important and for that comes also budgeting you know you need to budget how much you should or you want to spend you are able to spend for each room of the house and you know that only when you know what kind of piece of furniture you want to buy. Yes, but I'm also thinking about, you know, sometimes when you're buying, people go so much to the maximum of, I have given out everything in the house loan and in the commission. and in So you still keep some money aside that is really for the renovations. And this brings me to the next lesson. You don't want to be taking a loan on this stuff. No, it's not absolutely not. Like, you don't want to take 15000 extra for renovation no we have been living obviously in a small apartment and before that we are living on some in a small apartment and before that we are living in a bigger place so we have had stuff in our basement mm -hmm. for two years that we have never used and i think for me one thing that i have learned i i mean i tried to do already some sorting when we left our small apartment to here but i think it's important that if you only have things in the basement for two to three years that you have never touched, maybe yeah. you don't want to move with this stuff to your new place and just bring all the... Like you bring trash, literally things you never use, you bring all of that, park it in your new basement, then it's already full, or park it in your new kitchen, items you have never used, and it just takes up space. And I feel like when you do that, I did also a bit of that already, that's what I'm talking about it, but I think immediately realized oh my goodness i feel like i'm already in my old place and i'm tired of it so mm -hmm. i got rid of a lot of things also while i was here like oh, extra blanket that we never really used like, yeah and know. there are always going to be people out there that are willing to buy these things or get it for free because 
what is the use for you just to throw these things away? There are many people out there that maybe they are looking for something that you want to throw away. Just put uh, an advert online and uh, see what you can sell or give it, give it out for free. There are many other way to get uh, rid of this uh, object that you have stored in your in your in your keller. Go there, spend these two hours to see what you really need and what you what you want to throw away and make a decision. You might need more than two hours to pin more behind the basement. Yeah, but of course. If I think my father <laughs> my parents' basement. Yes, very important thing. You want your new environment to feel clean to feel clean, you want it to feel also like a new breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. And if you're bringing trash from your basement, soon you are tired of that. Absolutely. What else have we learned? Is there anything else that we haven't spoken about? No. What are the lessons that you have learned owning a house? That is something that I'm really curious about. Please write that in the comment below. Like something that we should avoid or that we can still avoid. You can, yes, exactly. <laughs> so tips are really appreciated. If you enjoy this, give us a like, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave us a comment that really helps us in pushing our YouTube channel up. If you have one of these t-shirts that you can see Lampis is wearing today, please check down below. There is our shop on Teen Springs and you can buy all of gadgets from Lampis. Ciao, ciao, ciao!